thought I really know how to pick a line. <laughs> it was a disturbance. Oh. oh shit, that's another, that's a bearing. <laughs> There's a lot of guys that carry spare CVs in their um, in their trucks just for this. That could have happened because we were in four wheel drive turning really sharp and so the tire couldn't spin the right amount so there's pressure on it. But yeah, I was just turning in too tight I think. So let's try to get moving. I could take the whole CV out, then we could go home, and then I could order a new CV and just put it in myself, which would save us a lot of money, probably. Or save me a lot of money. It's pretty much just gonna chew itself up, I think. But I wanna, I wanna save the axle, because that's aftermarket. Uh, Truth is really testing us. Highs and lows. Yeah. Call it the highs and lows trip. Ugh. I'm seeing if I have any tums in this kit. Yeah. Feels so gross. I'm starving for beer. <sighs> this really sucks. I'm gonna try to stay positive. We uh, limped home from the trail. We're gonna go get some Mexican food and kind of come up with a game plan for getting the truck fixed and getting home. Oh, well, that was delicious. I still feel sad though. <laughs> what was your big expense this trip, Justin? This thing? Yeah, you want to know my big expense? This is this handguard right here? I think it's <laughs> $19.99 on uh, Amazon, but you know, it's irreplaceable, really. My stomach's killing me. We're just gonna leave on breakfast. <laughs> it's not the Cheetos at seven. Oh, milk cream pies for breakfast. My stomach's killing me. We are limping our truck into town. We're gonna go weigh our options because we have some tools. We might be able to pull the CV out. We have to take the axle apart and put the long travel axle in. And that took me like three days when I did the long travel kit. So we're gonna go take the truck to a mechanic and just see what they're gonna charge us. That way we don't just ruin our trip just to save like a couple hundred bucks. We're just gonna maybe drop off the truck, get an Uber back to the campsite, then we can ride dirt bikes, we can chill, we can still enjoy Moab. Well, that's the plan, we'll see. found pieces of that. I mean, it exploded and I saw it shoot out of the truck. You actually saw it? Yeah. 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 <laughs> so yeah, this axle is slightly longer than the stock. So we gotta, we gotta retain the axle. So you said like around two to three hours, depending on how it goes in there. So what do you guys want to do? How much to uh, how much to just swim in your pool for a little bit? I mean, everyone's pretty nice here. Maybe they just let maybe us. they just let us. Hey, we're sad. Can we swim in your pool? We're sad. <laughs> you need them. No, I don't. Yes, get yourself some Hebrew hammers. You'll never regret it. It comes with the <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. Hollywood. We need a 
find a park or something. Weird, look at the size on that. Dang. Dang. Just fall to the left if you fall. Actually, no, f no, fall to the right. Because if you fall to the left, you'll fall in lava. <laughs> Hello, little one. Don't be afraid. Guys, there's some sort of noise making park. Oh my goodness. The xylophone. I got a fever. It's for more cowbell. Dude, is that a dead dog? No, he's pretty. Is he? Yeah. Dude, he looks mean as fuck. I know. I don't like that. That bad is <laughs> No idea. Like, really bad experience. Luke, is this... I don't think this is the right... Well, it's not the trail. Okay. Hi, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. He's processing me. This is someone's property. This is someone's pet dog. We just woke him up. Your plan is just to walk up the stream until we hit the dam? Better than the road. I mean, once we get to the trailhead, they're still walking off up the stream. That does feel really nice. Oh. Well, we're making an adventure out of it. That's for sure. I mean, we could have just sat in that mechanic shop all day and pouted. Nice little waterfall oasis up here. That was beautiful. Jeez. Thanks. Dude, you found an infinity pool. Yes, oh, super cool one, dude. Get that away from here. Dude, this snake is so rad, though. Gardner? I, I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> dude, there's bees everywhere, and oh yeah, bees and I are not friends. <laughs> oh, watch the back. <laughs> oh, the snake's going down my back. <laughs> oh god, I don't like it. Ooh. Dude, he's so <laughs> so long. <laughs> oh, there he is. Look oh, at this guy. He dropped I'm, that in the water. Look how long he is, dude. This snake is so cool. Super long and skinny. I'm not gonna let him go. Oh my gosh. Okay, you want to just like let him run through your fingers? No. Look out! There he goes. Look at that. It's a twist. That's so cool. Dude, this guy is rad. Maybe put him somewhere that's not our swim spot for right now. Are you guys seriously afraid of this little snake? I just don't like him. I, I, I'm holding him. <laughs> like he, a, he came near me, I just snapped him. It's like a four foot snake. There he goes. He's like, he's a good three feet long. Don't come near me. Dude, that's so rad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's going right up. Pick him up, Luke. I don't like snakes. I don't like snakes either. Come on, Justin. All right, comment below what kind of snake this is. We're really curious. Dude, he's super cool though. I'll have to find out if he's poisonous or not. He's <laughs> not. 
He's not trying to bite or anything, so. All right, so am I good to set him back in his home bushes? If you want to, you should wrap him around your neck. No. So basically, we were at like a public park. We got in the stream somewhere, just decided to follow it, wherever it may take us. And it's led us to all these cool spots. Like, this is an adventure. I honestly couldn't tell you guys where we are if I, uh, Creek. I mean, I have no idea. This is Mill Creek, I think. Yeah, right there looks kind of deep, like you could cannonball into it, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Oh, drop off. That's deep. Right jump there. in it. <laughs> jump in the hole. Okay, all the way for the step. Dude, yeah, we could jump off these ledges into the hole. Yeah, that's deeper than the other hole. Ah! That's a good six foot. That's not six foot. Did you go under? Yeah. Right. Oh, hey. About six feet. Oh, it's about six feet. And that's about that's 15. Up. You can do probably a cannonball. That's yeah. not it. Maybe a backflip. So that's the hole right there, huh? Way up there. You gotta. If you were to do this, you would have to jump about 12 feet. having a hard time getting the joint off. Yeah, hi Kyle, this is uh, Max Powell with the uh, White Toilet Tacoma. I missed a call from you. I did both sides myself, um, and it is, it is a huge pain. I used a pipe and um, slid the axle down inside the pipe and then raise the pipe up in the air and slam the other end of the pipe down on the ground. There's, there's like two ends of the CV axle and then the axle in the middle. And one end they got off right away. But the other side's really, really hard to get off. We have to take the burr fields with the bearings from either end with them on our extended travel the axle. And that's what's causing the mishap. That's why it's so hard for them to get it done. And that's why we couldn't do it ourselves. I should build a spare axle that's like that length, just in case this happens. I mean, most guys that wheel these independent front suspension trucks have spare CVs built, uh, and they take them with them, just because this is pretty common, unfortunately. It's okay. You gotta have fun with it. So many highs and lows. I just got off the phone with the car guy and like one end of the burr field on the CV axle, the outer end is not fitting on the spline of the axle, but the inside fits, which doesn't make any sense. The spline, like the teeth count should be the same on either end. It could be because he's using a remanufactured CV axle. I don't know. That's another $120 just to see if it'll fit and it might not fit. No respect for the lava game, guys. I know you're tired, but you have to respect the lava game. Whoa! We have rules, we are civilized. You can't have it. Because you're dead from the lava. Nice All right, here.
Oh, I feel bad for him. Huh? The guys here have been working really, really hard. They first bought a remanufactured CV axle, took it apart, and the spline on the outer burr field is what I think you call it, didn't fit. And uh, so we figured that was because it was remanufactured. So we had to buy a new one from Napa. They took that apart. That didn't fit. And they are refusing to return them. So I got charged $270 for the two of those axles. So now we're at the end of the road, end of the day. It was gonna be a $900 charge, $900 just to put the truck back together. And uh, we'd be right back where we started. Or I had to commit another $400 to uh, getting an OEM part from Toyota overnighted, which in theory should fit, but we don't really know. So the trip that started with having all of our camera gear stolen is now ending with a $1,200 fee just to get home. Rolling with the punches is starting to hurt. Did you take it out of the tire? Justin, yeah. That's me. That's you. Where does it say experienced right driver? Here. I gotta read the fine print on these tires. Well, at least it's an experienced driver, not professional driver, because then that would be <laughs> bullshit. Yeah, that's the truck. Who's that? Then? That's what everyone's asking. That's, that's uh, so this dog's name is, um, is Bodie. And that's the photographer who took this picture. That's his girlfriend. I ran into her forerunner when we were there. I crushed her forerunner. That was the one you backed up into? Yeah, that's hers. Oh, shit. Yeah, and this whole day that we were filming this, I was super stressed out. I had no idea it was hers. And she trusted you to get that close when you're trying to climb up that ladder? It'll be an adventure. I'll jump in front, so. He's gonna take the bike ramp with him to work so that tomorrow we can ride the dirt bikes in and get them in the truck. Uh, Appreciate that it. That phone will work, is that what you're saying? Yeah, okay. yeah, it works here. I'll give you a shot as soon as she's rolling. Thank you. I really appreciate the help and the ride. I appreciate it. Enjoy your night. Thank you. Don't forget your child. He's gone.